Bom dia, good afternoon, good evening, guys. Wherever you are in this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this YouTube video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel for the newcomers. My name is Didi Taihudu. I hold all bitcoins. I'm born to be and on the bottom you see free. Yes, in today's short TA video on Sunday, I'm drinking coffee. Hmm. Hope you are drinking coffee as well. And we're going to look at Bitcoin very shortly because it's really cool to see what is happening. But I'm also want to warn you for some small thing that mostly happens on Sunday to Monday. So let's quickly jump into the charts. And there are three other charts, extra charts at the end, cool charts that show you something really nice as well. Bam! I've been running so long that my feet don't work no more. first chart guys this is the four hour chart on this four hour chart you can see that we broke out of that beautiful downward channel with a red line we came out normally we come back to retest it maybe this was the retest on the one hour but sometimes on the four hour we also retest it this yellow line here that is the resistance at the moment you see the 34k look to the left and you see every time we fight that area we try to fight it but we go down again so now we need to break that area, the 34K, to come above that and then create a new higher high. And that new higher high would be above the level of 36,000. So somewhere in this area, we should be creating another higher high that would be higher than this one. You know, and then you can see this new beautiful channel being formed maybe to the upside. On the other hand, something that is happening every week again and again is what we call this one over here bam the cme gap at friday we closed the bitcoin price at thirty two thousand four hundred eighty dollars that is where we closed on friday on monday the people with the suits come back to the office and they start to trade again and they are in shock oh my god they see this bitcoin is at 34 we need to be bitcoin to be back at that gap at 30 2480 and that is this yellow line the yellow line is down below that channel line so if the cme gap will be filled tomorrow 32 480 then we would fall back all the way down to this yellow line but that would be down below this red line and i don't want or hope that it doesn't happen i hope we find support in this line because cme gaps don't necessarily need to be filled every time the day after it can also be filled like weeks after or, there, or never there are some cme gaps at the top that need to be filled as well between 50 and 60k so that is what people believe but now you know if we fall down we could fall down to the red line 33 or even to the yellow line uh, i don't believe we will fall back all the way to that box over there let's jump into the next chart because that is really cool i found some really cool chart over here this one the week chart and um, why is this week chart this is the day chart did good morning you need some more coffee the day chart because the day chart you can see that we are closing um the candle in 16 hours and then we will be possibly closing around thirty-four thousand us dollar maybe even higher in 16 hours and why do i want to show this to you because that would be really positive if we close this day chart around 34 maybe 35 000 us dollar because if we look then at the week chart that would mean that the week chart would also close at 34 35 000 us dollar because that one is going to close in 16 hours and if we close at the level of 34 000 over here just to zoom in and so you understand if we would close at that level over there 34,000 that we are now um, maybe draw we are now here the lot this chart the week has, chart is always a little bit lagging down if we close around this area you can see that we opened lower we opened at 33,820 if we close higher what does this mean if we close the candle higher than that we open it, then it will become a green candle. And then that green candle on the weekly chart 
could mean the reversal on the weekly that we try to go up again to that beautiful yellow line around 45k. So if this candle closes as a green candle with a huge wick on the bottom and a very tiny bottom, a very tiny um, body at the top, that is a very positive candle to turn around the market. So yes, I'm looking forward to see the closing of that weekly candle tonight, hopefully above 34,500. Then we will have a small body, green, with a large wick, which could mean we are turning around the charts. Then on Twitter, bam, I was uh, finding some cool charts uh, by, uh, on Will Clementis. I'm going to ch take a shout out to him because I'm um, s finding a lot of cool charts on his uh, Twitter uh, and I love to analyze those charts. So let's do that by now by clicking this one over here. Bam. No, that's my face. Bam. Yes, that one. Oh my Didi, you do this daily and you forget every time again and again and again. This is the first chart that he shared and I really liked that chart because why? On this chart you can see the dead net entity growth. And every time we see the peaks here, this one was in um, 2012, we had a net entity growth peak as well. On the bottom you can see that of 1819. Here, again, 50. 5,488 again during that peak here again 6,423 again during that peak and then from here six and a half thousand till here the net entity growth during the peak so if we climb from 1800 to 5 that's times 5 and this one is essentially the same peak it was like the 2013-14 the so that's times 5 here from 6 till there is times six almost are we going to go times six again are we going to climb from 42,000 times six to 240,000 that is now the question is this entity growth you can clearly see that it's not that peak that we have seen before but this is completely a different style of peak you can see the peak were sharp you know sharp you know very sharp this area looks like this area so if we get that peak now, is that to 240,000 times 6 or maybe a little bit less times 4, like 200,000? That is the question now of this chart. I'm going to delete beautiful these yellow lines and check out the chart if you want to check this out a little bit more. Very cool as well is bam over here, this chart to see um, because here you can see the stable coin supply ratio, uh, SSR, which means how many stable coins are being supplied very simple and you can see that every time when the um, stable coin starts to turn around like here this yellow line going up you see here this one the price is also going up here as well you, when the stable coin starts to go up the price starts to go up here we went up and the price went up hugely if you look to the top now here we can see clearly that we are turning around again it's kind of slowly turning up and the price starts to turn up as well. So if we would go back to these heights that we were before, um, that would be, of course, really not cool. Because you can see we are going a little bit downwards like this, you know. So maybe we will go to this height in the stablecoin supply, but that means the price will go explosively up as well. Do we have one more chart to share with you guys? I think this one, bam, this is also very good. Bitcoin cumulative return after halving per epoch. Libertariman. Listen, if we would follow the 2016 to 2020 epoch, we would now be exactly here in this area. And that means that yes, after this area, we will see this huge jump. And that jump that can be a little bit later um, than the last time, because we can see this area over there. It's the same like this area. Now we need to get this area. So maybe that one is a little bit later over there. And then we should be seeing, of course, after that area, that huge peak to the top, wherever it is, and come down again, you know, and then form that same chart. And then you get this same sort of chart. So that is a really cool chart that shows you as well, we are just at the beginning to the mid of this bull run. And then, yes, between now and July, between the 417th till the 570 day, we will see a huge climb in the Bitcoin price. 
really cool charts. I think my face was exactly inside of the, in, in front of the peak. So here you see the chart without the peak. It's Sunday, forgive me. But now you can see this was the peak in the 2000, you know, 17, 18 peak. And now this is where we are now. If it comes to following that run from 2016 to 2020. Now, I hope, hmm. Bam, you really enjoyed this short TA video. If you did enjoy the charts again and the video, please give the video a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and leave a comment. What do you think about these charts? Do you think we will go down? Do you think you will fall back into that red channel? Or do you think we find support and we continue the upwards movement all the way to 40k because we have seen some volume coming in like uh, lately. Also, today I will publish a really cool video. It's a kind of funny video. You know, my friends, Ronnie, Nick and I wanted to make a beautiful hike and we make fun of that hike. Um, so do watch that video as well because it's just showing how we live the Bitcoin family life and how we are able to live that Bitcoin family life. And of course, that's because of trading, the BAM BAM indicator, the bots and all that stuff. But if you want more information about that, then go to the BitcoinFamily.com. Thanks for watching. See you later today or tomorrow again. Um, have a beautiful Sunday. Bam. I can't run.